Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of the fish game. So in the last episode we kind of made a lot of progress since we kind of fixed like some bugs and we also yeah added the progress up here which you can see works perfectly and now there's also a few bugs left that we have to squash before we can move on to the next thing. So yeah, as you can see Right now this works kind of like this, so we can control the orange bar with our mouse if we hold and we kind of want it to stay in there. So we want to make it a bit slower and yeah, we need to fix that it resets there. And we also need to fix that we can't cast our rods while we do it. So now our rod script, let's get a new value that we can cast is equal to true. And when we do can cast, like when we cast the bar, then we want to do can cast is equal to false since we already cast it. Uh, then we want to do if not can cast then return end. And yeah, we set can cast to false. And oh, I just saw that it's kind of like. Wait, let me just. Okay, my scene was kind of. Yeah, kind of bad, but. Yeah, so we set can cast to be false. We set can cast up here to be true. And then we check if not can cast. Then we we want to return end. And lastly, we want to set can cast to true after we get the Oh wait, this is the wrong wrong one. So we want to get this out of here. This was the wrong one, I think. Oh no. Okay, yeah, we... No mind, this was the correct one. Okay, wait. Okay, now it's good. So... When we try this out now, we should only be able to cast the rod once. And when we click again, we yeah we don't see the bar at the side. And then what we want to do? When we press the Z input thing. No, it is indeed this one down here. And then we want to also put this here. So if not can cast, then return end. And then can cast is equal to true. And we want to indeed set this to here so we can actually delete this up here. So not everything, but just the can cast setting to false, delete this, but we want to keep the return end, so we can only, yeah, see now it destroys this, it's kind of bugged now, but, yeah, so, okay, wait, actually we want to, yeah, this is good, And we want to, what we want to do is the setting to true. Oh yeah, we also want to set it to false here, right? So we want to set it to false. And we only want to set it back to true if we actually catch the fish. So this will be like, let me see. 
player bar movement and then the progress bar here check overlap and then the progress bar mm -hmm. size and we get the progress from up here and yeah so this is the problem since we reset this and we call the reset pretty much all the time when we click so now this should also be fixed since yeah when we call the reset progress and ui it resets our progress and this was why our bar always reset and if we get the input now if we not if we can't cast it it's not going to reset it so it should be working i think so when we click now we can shake and our progress bar goes up here Let's get it to 100% all the way up. And now when we enter it, you can see that it successfully goes up. And prints moving on to phase three. Since, yeah, this is pretty much the phase three. And then we want to check if the bar is big enough. So we want to go down here and check if the bar size is pretty much the max or we want to check if progress is equal to 100 then or is higher or equal than 100 then and then we pretty much want to do we want to print uh, then we want to print catching that's pretty much it and we also want to make the player bar move a bit a bit slower. So let's maybe get it to 0, 05 here. So it's like five times slower, which makes this a lot easier. Let's get this done. Yeah, now this is very unsmooth, so we just want to decrease the size. And yeah, the progress bar goes up way too fast. And yeah, it also prints catching, which is very good. And when it prints catching, we also want to break the loop. So then we want to break and print catching. Or we want to print catching and then break the loop. So then what we want to do is we want to go up here and set this back to zero one, one and then just decrease the size by like a another zero and set this to like to five so it's like five times slower but the yeah the smoothness remains the same pretty much and we also want to get the progress bar not plus one like plus ma like this or like this so this would take like 200 or oh, 2000 ticks. I don't know how long this will take. But I guess we will find out now. Let's get this up to 100. And yeah, we will also be, yeah, the progress bar goes a bit too slow now. And we also want it to go down again when we are not inside the frame here so let's get this to zero one i think this is a very good thing and else so if we are pretty much else then we want to just copy this and just put a minus here and then also update the progress bar so this is basically how the whole system works so when we are overlapping with the frame then we want the progress bar to go up and else we want it to go down I think in fish, like in the original game, when you are not inside, it goes down way faster, like with the double the speed. As you can see, now it goes up when this thing now moves. See, it goes back down, and we kind of have to catch up to it. So it's pretty much fish. It's pretty much exactly the system. Let's go back here. 
You can think we can, yeah, also it only prints catching once, so we know it breaks the loop, which is very good. And then what we want to do after we print catching here, or pretty much here, we also want to like double this to like 0 0.2, so it's like two times as fast. And yeah, let's get some values rocking here with the catch fish now. Oh, actually, we can do this later since we. Yeah, so later on, we will be doing like stuff like the progress speed. So this will then be affected. And then the sturdiness of the rod which will affect how often this moves. I think we can also set it to like 1.5 and 4, like 3, I think this is a good meter. And yeah, let's get going here. Let's get everything here. That's kind of fast now. Can I wrap it? Because we lose our progress very fast. Yeah, it's kind of okay. Oh, this jumped a lot now. This jumped a lot. And so this would be like a kind of harder fish to catch since it jumps a lot. But it's still possible to catch. Like that, we can still make it harder than this. And I think, yeah, it moves, it continues to move. So what we want to do is right now, since we are currently not catching anything, then we want to, yeah, retreat the, like, reset everything. So we can just run reset progress and UI. Since this resets our complete progress, and also updates the bars and stuff, and destroys the bobbers, and the casting gets invisible, and we also want to yeah, reset all the bars. I think this gets created or cleaned up anyways though. Yeah, since all progress gets reset. I think we could just make it invisible. Like here we do this, we set this to invisible, we set the reeling, you now we want to pretty much reset this, so in the reset we want to also put like this here, we want to set the reeling to false. We also want to set the main dot reeling. Also to false. This should give us a nice reset of everything we need. So when we click now, it should technically reset our stuff yeah, this goes fast really. it's kind of hard to catch actually because we lose our progress super fast just have to be lucky with the random twins just try to be in it on all times. And yeah, now it reset our UI. And as you can see, we can press our rod again. And this is since we did not put the can cast back to true. So we can just copy this and in the reset, we can set our can cast back to true. And yeah, this will wrap up today's episode. Thank you all for watching and see you in the next part. Peace.